Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my Salem tutorial series. This episode is going to be on the necessary steps in order for us to get to cotton farming. There is a lot we must do to reach that point, but our minds are on the money and that is our best way to make it without risk to our personal health. Okay, off the bat, we need to start by learning the whittling skill. So let's bring up the skills window and show you what I'm whittling about. Whoops. Okay, so if we look down this list, we are looking for a skill called whittling. There it is. Notice it's not red, so we're off to a good start. Now, if we look over here, it says since woods is one of the most abundant natural resources in the new world, it also becomes a natural choice for the presumptive settler when choosing a material from which to forge his first tools. Whittling allows you to fashion simple wooden objects. And trust me when I tell you, this is a cool skill to learn. Now, it requires 200 arts and crafts and 625 hammer and nails. The easy way to achieve this is by studying two smooth stones. So, as luck would have it, I have two smooth stones. And oh yeah, I know, I'm nuts. But hey, what's new? Right, so let's study these two stones. Okay, so hmm. there's one, hmm, and hmm, there's two. Okay, we can now purchase whittling. I can just visualize someone there with a banjo every time we do that. How cool is that? Right, so okay, we now have the whittling skill. Sorry, I'm just reading my notes to see where I'm at. Oh, did I mention things? Um, things are going to start getting um, cool from this point on with structures popping up around us. With that skill, we have now made our first true advancement because it has it has unlocked two important things for us. I'm not going to mention any of the others, but there's two that I do want to mention. It has unlocked the fishing traps and the whittling bench. With the fishing trap, we can now catch fish while we're offline, providing we leave bait in it. Uh, I will show that in another episode, and it will be a good one. And it will also give us the fishing trap will give us a plethora of useful items. It will give us food, it will give us items with good proficiency stats, and some mega cool items we can use later to make the 60,000 point inspiration potions I was showing you. Woot. Okay, that's the fishing trap and, and uh, just some of what it's gonna give us. Okay, there's a whole range of items it's gonna give us. Next is the whittling bench is just as cool and will give us too much for me to even consider waffling about but trust me pilgrims our lives just took a mega turn for the better now remember that was just the first of many steps we need to take but that just opened up loads for us to have fun with i hope you lot are not busy for the next six months next Let's take a look at the next step and learn the next skill, which is carpentry. Now bear in mind one thing as we go forwards. Salem has been very kind to us so far, as in learning skills takes little proficiency. But please be aware, it warned you at the beginning that things were going to get tough. With this next skill, you will get a taste of what it meant. But of course, Salem does not realise Pilgrim, Pilgrim Gamester has not gone completely mad just yet. So he will be holding your hands and powering you through the new world. Okay, now to learn carpentry, let's first find it. There it is. Notice that it is red. 
which is a bit of an omen, but let's see. Okay, now for carpentry, we're going to need 600 arts and crafts and 1375 hammer and nails. Now, as you can see, our hammer and nails is only on 900, so we will need to increase it four time, uh, three times. Once, the first time to 1100, the second time will take us to 1300, and the third time will take us to 1500, thereby clearing what we need. We then, of course, have to get this, the proficiency up to 1375. Now, as luck would have it, um, I have an easy way for us to do that. We will make an inspirational. We will make the lumberwood figurine, which we will need to make this. We will need one wood block, three branches and two pine cone scales. So it's no coincidence that you see I've got two pine cones. For the wooden blocks, I've got these logs that we can I can chop. So we've got the logs. And of course, for branches, well, we have a tree nearby. So we have an unlimited amount of branches. So let's get to work. Let's get busy because our minds are still on the money. Right. Left click the craft button. Left click the inspirationals button. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry for that. And left click on toys. Now, here is the lumberwood figurine. Do you see it? It looks like a wooden, wooden, um, how's best to explain that? A wooden teddy bear of a sort. Anyway, it's called lumberwood figurine. Left click on it, and you will see we need just what the gamester just told you one log, three branches, two pine cones. Okay, time to go picking some pine cones off of spruce trees. So, won't take you long. Hopefully you'll have one nearby. If not, you might have a little walk. But just keep an eye out for snakes and natives. Okay, to get them pine scales, right-click your pine cone and remove scales. You see, it gives us plenty. So, no problemo. Right, okay. Now, what we'll do is we will go and pick six branches to start with. I don't know how many figurines we're going to need to make, but we've got the resources in abundance. That's why I chose this item to use. OK, so we've got enough to do two rounds and we need two logs then. So right click the chop down tree, left click chop blocks. OK, we got one and there's our second one. Now, let's make our lumberwood figurine. OK, so we'll get two each time. And let's create another one. Right, OK, that gives us four. I'm guessing we are going to need many more, but let's just learn these for starters. Hopefully your inspiration is looking somewhat like mine. If not, now... Ali Katz sent me a message and she told me that she so far earned over 800 silver. I mean, that Ali Katz is fantastic. Well done, my hat is off to you. See, I wasn't kidding you all when I said to you that money's easy to make. Money is easy to make if you know how to make it. And guess what? I'm going to make it even much more easier to make money. But we're not there yet. That's the whole reason for these next coming episodes is to get us to the honey. Um, right. So, yes. So Alley Cats made over 900 silver. So if you're Alley Cats, you can simply buy what you need at this point because she's making plenty of money. But I want to show you, I want to presume you're all as poor as me, the poor gamester. And we need to make everything the manual way. So that is what we shall do. So let's start studying once I've topped my food up. Hence why there's loads of food here. 
Notice, I don't know if I've mentioned this, I'm sure I have, but when you hover over food, it shows you how much of the bars it's going to fill up. Um, so just in case I haven't mentioned it, there you go, so it shows you. Just like with inspirationals that you can learn. Have you noticed, when you hover over them, it shows you the bars that it fills up. Now I'm sure I've mentioned it already, but just in case, there we go. You see it shows you up above exactly what skills it's going to give you. That way you can marry up what you need with over here when you hover. Uh, for now, let's see. Okay, so just wait for that to top up. Now, bear in mind, it's very difficult for me doing this uh, series on Salem because it's just done so differently. Like, how do you plan out an episode where you're trying to get to an object that you have to study many different items to get to? How do you know how long it's going to take to study them items? How do you, long, how do you know how long it's going to take to make them items? Um, fine if you can pause your recording software. I can't, but I'm not worried. The game still will just plod on in as usual stubborn fashion. So we filled our bar up, let's now get started because we want to learn this cool skill. Hmm. Yep, that's good. One more should because we're getting our hammer and nails up, remember? Hmm. There we go. So now we can do the first leap and we'll also be getting our faith and wisdom and lore and lore up, which is cool. There we go, we're now at 1100. So let's chomp a study a couple more. Oops, first we need to eat. Wait for the bar to top back up. In fact, let's study one. Hmm. Wait for it to go a bit more. And study again. Hmm. Right, now we can make our next leap. It doesn't matter that Law and Law uh, and these ones aren't done. In fact, mm, we could jump them up at the same time. It would do no harm. It does seem a bit of a waste. So what we'll do, yeah, go on and you twisted my arm. What we'll do is we will make get enough to make another two. It just means we're going to chew through a bit more of our inspiration. But because we're going to be learning, benefiting so many proficiencies it pays off okay we'll need two more blocks there we go let's craft them all oops I need to split me other pine cone let's craft again Yeah, because there's so many near the peak, we may as well do another one. So let's, oops, let's eat first. Oh, I must try and remember to eat. It's like real life. Eating comes secondary when there's games around, especially very good games. Okay, let's study. Hmm. There you go. Now look at this. We can whack five skills up. So we're doing, of course, hammer and nails. Right, we are on the doorstep to the skill. We need one more increase to get to some coolness. So, let's study again. Hmm. Let's eat. And let's study again. Hmm. Okay, same story. Let's study once more. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. Nice. We can do all of these again. So, I mean, these will come in handy with other skills that we will be learning in the future. So for now, hammer and nail time. Right, OK, so I figure we're going to need three more. So I'm going to need to do another two. So I need to get five more branches. There's the branches and two more logs. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. You see how good this lumberwood figurine is though? How fantastic is that? Right, okay, so notice it's given us this near rare knotted wood. And that gives us <coughs> excuse me. And that actually gives us seven hundred hammer and nails. Um so that is very cool. Now 
Notice how the recipe has highlighted it. If I did not want to use that rare item in this crafting recipe, I pick it up and notice how it's jumped to another item. When I put it back down, it is not, now not going to be used. So that is one reason why I wouldn't use the craft all, because I don't want to lose that. So what I'll do is craft just once. I will then eat. And what I'm going to do is, because we need hammer and nails, let's see, are we wasting too much else? Uh, we aren't going to get arts and crafts with it. Whereas with the lumberwood figurine, we are getting arts and crafts. Hmm. You see, this game starts making you go, hmm. Right, okay, because it's making you basically think. It's making you engage the grey matter, matter. Isn't that good? I love a game where it encourages you to use your brain. How fantastic is that? Well, see, that's 2,000 inspiration. That is... 1600 and you know what I'm gonna do it let's go for it let's live dangerously so let's study that mm. there we go we got a nice big jump now we can learn our lumberwood figurine <clears throat> mm. now we can eat now we can learn the other lumberwood figurine mm. and bingo we now have the carpentry skill Denoted by, if we move off, you see, it's now white and flashing green. So let's buy that. Okay, let's check my notes. Well, that has just unlocked our first house, by the way. We can now build a pilgrim's house. But we are not going to build the Pilgrim's House. We're going to build the house I showed you in episode one. We are going to build the Farmer's House. Now, you're saying to yourselves at this point, Gamester, you mad old dog, why would you want to go and build the Farmer's House when you can build the Pilgrim's House? Well, there's no need for starters for being rude to this old dog we're going to build the farmer's house because it gives us more space inside more space to store our containers um, to do with our food because in the farmer's house we can build a fantastic um, light source for our torches in the future now the campfires the fireplaces are all well and good but they only burn for three hours and 20 minutes, remember? Well, how about if I told you if we built a farmer's house, we could then put a stove into it and the stove will burn for 24 hours. How cool is that? So there you go. That's why we want to do a farmer's house. I know we could put a stove in a, in a pilgrim's house, but I'm the gamester and we're going to do things properly. We're going to do them right. So I don't want us to have to waste time in a few episodes knocking down the pilgrim's house. I've got enough trouble trying to knock down my lean to and I can't. So we're going to build the farmer's house. But that's well in the future. That's not now. I'm just saying that we've unlocked the pilgrim's house before I started waffling and going off at a complete tangent. But then what's new? So where was I? Okay, so there's that. And many things that are going to give us so much fun. So we can build a first house and many more things that can give us a lot of fun. Like a bucket. So now we can use water effectively in crafting. Because there's some recipes where you have to use the water on the item. Well, we put the water in the bucket. Don't worry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to do that. And then we use the water in the crafting recipes. But more importantly, we can now make a saw buck. So so now we can make planks and a bigger container to store things in and a bigger sled to pull things on so we can pull more. There is just so many items, too many items for me to list unless you want this episode to be an hour long. Oh, and I must just mention one more thing. We can also make a coffin. Now come on, you know the gamester loves games where he can prepare for his own demise, so at least I will be happy when I've got my coffin sitting on my claim. 
Yep, we got a coffin coming at some point, but not yet. Okay, I've guessed by this point in the episode I would be out of time. So what I'm going to do, I will leave you by telling you that you must purchase free nails before the next episode. And then we are going to start making some really cool things. Good luck, pilgrims. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Goodbye.